Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video I teach you guys how to add captions onto videos with Filmora X or Filmora 9. Many of you guys have been requesting for a video like this where I teach you guys this trick. If you do like this sort of content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We are so close to 250 subscribers, so subscribing would be much appreciated. Do leave a comment down below to help me beat the algorithm. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, hi guys. So, first of all, before you do anything, you have to like get a new project, and you can do that by going to File, New Project, and you have to click the white screen option. But uh, that's like the default option, uh, so you can just go on with that uh, when you open the application. So what you have to do is you have to get like all everything that you need first and in this case I'm going to be using the intro for this video. So I you, usually uh, I use the same like replay for every video uh, like for almost like for two videos and then I change the intro. So this is the same intro as the TNT and Fireball uh, videos so okay so after you like get all your stuff in this like in your project uh, you have to put the like the thing that's gonna be in the video like not the audio what's gonna be displaying the thing like this so after that you need to drag in your intro audio so i'm just gonna play it right now hi guys welcome okay, back to so another video when you like uh, zoom in you can see like this speed hump no sorry not speed i'm sorry this like audio hump like thing so when you go up to there you can cut it like that and then you can take away uh, you can take away this part so there you go and what i like to do is i like to like put a little thing in the front like all you need to do is go to tiles like this and you can like put a tile like this and there you go and then you need to take away the text like this is something that i do it's like a little zoom like thing so after you do that all you need to do is uh, go to like uh, a simple zoom warp zoom transition and like then it look like this hi guys welcome back so to that's video. really cool but just to spice something up things up i like to add a sound effect so like this it's like a bush sound effect and as you can see it's really loud so what I do is I make the pitch all the way down so it's like way more bass and then I make the audio way down like up to 18 or something let's try it out hi guys welcome ah, back yeah, that's perfect so it looked like this hi guys welcome back okay so another thing you can do is like since my voice is kind of faint here I'm gonna put it all the way up back to another video Okay, that's much better. And then, like, since the transitions here and since the sound effects that, let's make the audio a uh, little to the right. So then, like, it doesn't overlap and stuff like that. Hi, guys. Welcome back. It's too much. Okay, so what you gotta do is, like, play around with it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so now the most important part, the captioning. So like the most important things for this is like the timing and like the, the timing and you have to have presets so like these are like my presets like uh, this these are these three are my pre presets this one's like the bigger version this one's a small version this one's a big uh, smaller version but with uh, with the uh, with the middle thing like uh, like it's in the middle like the other one isn't in the middle so like making presets like this is really important so then you don't need to make that sort of that sort of text every single time you uh, copy it in so like make presets like this it will help you it will take away so much time so like i have presets of my friends like igliter uh, manam jeff minty ziggy dark and stuff like that uh, so like uh, all you need to do is drag it in like this so hi guys okay so what you do is every frame you have to like change the thing well i, I don't really know how to say it but i'm gonna just show it to you hi guys okay so one thing one tip is that you have to make it big like not like this you have to make it like uh big yeah like zoom it in hi guys welcome back okay so hi guys uh, Hi guys, so come back. 
So what you can do is like you can unpause and pause it like that. So then like you can get the exact timing. Hi guys. So I say like well guys. Welcome. Okay, so that's kind of perfect right there. I'm just gonna put it out just a little bit more. And then what you have to do is you don't need to always go back and take this. You can copy this, control C and control V and boom. It's like that's like how I do it. So like uh well come back. That's like that. So come back back to So that back goes up to here like Okay, right, so come back to to Come back to another video. So two is like this. A really helpful thing is like this speed the audio thing. So like the audio humps, that's what I call it. I don't really know the ex exact name for it. These are really important, like so then you can like know where the actual like part where you talk. So to uh wait, did I say Yeah, to another to another the video. the video okay so video starts around here so like you have to go on like this frame by frame I know it's kind of hard but then like when you get used to it, it's actually kind of easy and the end result is actually pretty satisfying so like I and uh, I'm just gonna put it like a time-lapse of me making this and the next time I'll talk I'll like yeah Okay, so uh, like I edited like a lot of it. So now what you have in, to please do make sure is like uh, like I make my own animations right here. So uh, when adding an animation like this, you have to go to chroma key, and then so like you see this white thing like this. So what you have to do is you have to go to offset and type five. So then it'll, like go away, and then the animation will go on. So you can look it up. You leave a like and subscribe. We're so close to 250 subscribers. Okay, so when the like animation uh, goes out the screen, you can put the same thing for the subscribe animation. Like so. Chroma key and then 5. 5 is like the magic number. So. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're so close to 250 subscribers. So subscribing would be much appreciated. Do leave a comment down below to help me beat that with a... And yeah. Hop into this video. Okay, so like from there, you can like drag it like that and then just cut it off, and then that's that's like it. So if you want to like apply a transition, like let's just take uh, this. Oh god, let's just take this clip like that. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. yeah. So let's just like let's just imagine like that's the gameplay. Or like that's this video so like if you want to apply a transition or something uh, I picked red here cuz like uh, actually I, I can't remember why I picked red but I picked red so what you have to do is if you have another color not like green it won't like detect it so what you have to do is got this uh, like thing there and then you press this press like that so and I drop it too right yeah and then since this is like can you see like these two borders here so I don't know why that's there but that's like a way to fix that so all I do is press shift and make that bigger from both sides and there you go okay so you can see the like transition work and yeah hop into this video okay so that's like the whole video like that's how to caption stuff um, if you do like this video, just like like and subscribe. Uh, I do put a lot of effort in these videos, so it would mean a lot. And yeah, uh, see you next time.